I just feel like I have some experience with guitar strings to be able to talk about this, and I probably don't have that much experience. I haven't gone out and tried to find every kind of guitar string out there, but I have tried a handful. Um, so we're just going to start off with what my favorite guitar string is, and my favorite guitar string of all is the NanoWeb Elixir 11. Yeah, I don't play 12s, I play 11s. I really don't find any point in playing 12s unless you are a rhythm guitarist. I think anything above that, especially when you're doing, you know, like finger style stuff or cusp guitar, all that, you know, again, trying to shred, you know, it's just, it's so much easier, you know, on your hands to be able to do that. And so yeah, I, that is my favorite. That is my favorite string. I've also noticed that 12s and above have ruined people's guitar necks. And I, maybe that's just because they have a cheap guitar, but... I've never seen that happen with 11s. And I'm telling you, you know, if you're trying to get into advanced guitar, if you're trying to get fast, if you're trying to get some crazy hand stretches, and you're trying to get into like all that modern hipster percussive guitar and whatnot, there's almost no point in getting medium strings, unless you're trying to tune your guitar that much lower. Then, you know, like John Gaunt, for example, I forgot what note he said, like the lowest note he tunes his guitars to, but yeah, he has some huge strings because they're basically bass strings. They're not for playing standard E, they're for playing like I think like C and I think even B flat, so that is completely different. So that being said, what I like about these they last forever. And not on top of just lasting forever, they are the most beautiful sounding strings I have ever played. And I have played quite a few strings. Like, like I said, I haven't played all of them. But I've played quite a few. I honestly I honestly don't know how other people measure or compare strings. A lot of people say that clear tones are like, like if you like elixirs, you'll like clear tones because they're like apparently exactly the same strings. And clear tones are alright, but clear tones are definitely not like elixirs in any way, shape, or form. That is a lie. Okay, I would say the most similar string I've ever played to elixirs is it's this string company called Vibe. Vibe strings, and they're actually really cheap, so if you like elixirs, then go ahead and order some Vibe strings off the internet. They're only 10 bucks a pack. I think you can get like a three pack for a few bucks less. They claim to be like able to last three times longer and to the sound quality to also last three times longer and all this. I may or may not have had similar experiences with that. They still aren't quite the quality of elixirs, but they are, um, in my opinion, they're probably my second favorite string. Now moving on to like how strings play, okay? This is what I don't like about strings. The most easy thing to explain about strings for me is how the harmonics ring out. Now as an acoustic guitarist, you know, I do one-handed one harmonics, right? So it's really, it's really important to be able to get those harmonics to ring out. And if I can't do that, then those strings are already kind of like game over. Everything else would have to be like way good and then I would be willing to compensate for, you know, difficult harmonics to plug. The, the number one string company out there, which is, I think, Diodario. I mean, let's be real. Diodario, Diodario, whatever. Now, when you are playing, you know, more with a chord, with, with, a, chord, with, a, with a pick, like, I think if you're a rhythm guitarist, and I don't know how they are on electric guitar, but for acoustic guitar, I haven't found too much um, good reps with them, personally. I'm not trying to talk crap, I'm just being real. This is just my personal experience, this is all I can say. Their harmonics are, first of all, really hard to plug. Like, I, I'm just gonna be real, I'm not the biggest fan of Diodarios. I don't know why people rave about them so much. Also, what do I like? Okay, I'm not trying to talk about what I don't like, I'm trying to talk about what I like. So like I said, obviously elixirs are my first favorite. My second favorite is Vive Strings. I would say check those out. You can really only find them on the internet. I've never been to a guitar store where you can buy them. Where you can buy those, I've just never have seen them ever. I've only seen them online, and they're good. Like I said, they're cheap. So if you like elixirs, but you want something cheaper, like, like I said, I think they're ten bucks a pack for vibes, and they do sound good, and they last relatively long. As far as I know, I've used them quite a few times. I have had strings snap on them before. Like I said, I think they're still really good. And then my third string of all would be Ernie Ball, the Phosphor Bronze, I think the 2080 or whatever. Those are really good for chops. Okay, if you like to do hammer-ons specifically, they are amazing for that kind of style. I have noticed that, I don't know what it is like, in my opinion, these are probably the easiest strings I've ever played. They really are, they're super easy. Um, I'd say they're about the medium range for how, you know, for lifespan. They don't last the longest, but they don't last the shortest either. What I do like about them though is, I swear my fingers when I play them, they're like twice as dexterous 
on being able to hit the frets and hit the string all properly with these strings. I don't know what it is about them. They're like magic. And actually, I love those strings a lot because of how easy they are to play and the way they feel. There's something satisfying about how they feel when you're playing, when you're hammer-onning. They are more difficult on harmonics, but like I said, the, the other details like pitch bends and vibratos and stuff, they're really good for those. I don't necessarily care if you play with elixirs. I believe that if you are a finger style guitarist, you will love elixirs. But I'm just wanting people to try new strings because I think like, you know, a lot of people are, you know, they go to a guitar store and they're like, oh, well, these are the most popular strings ever or these are good. And then they just kind of stick with those and they don't use, they don't try those strings. So I just want to give you some of my opinions on like, what are some good strings to use out there? I'll put on elixirs for like a year and they'll be damaged and destroyed, right? They've been on that guitar for a year. But then I try out another guitar company and I might even like the strings, but then after a couple of days, they sound just like those year old elixirs or even long, or even worse, honestly. So strings do matter. A lot of times what you're playing on the guitar may not sound good and you'll notice that what company you buy in strings will change how you sound when you play. And sometimes other people will notice it like people did notice with me. That's all I have to say. All right. And yeah, God bless you.